Hi, my name is Brett Graham. I'm a senior at Eastern Regional High School, and this is Project Sophie. Eastern does an excellent job of making sure that all of the technology that we need is readily available. We have smart boards in most rooms, we have laptops, we have iPads, but in order to use all of these and have technology and education be fully integrated, we need a Wi-Fi network that can fully uh, you know, meet the needs uh, of Eastern students and faculty. Project Sophie is an initiative started by five uh, students here at Eastern. Uh, who are going to Rutgers Model UN. We plan on installing a Wi-Fi repeater powered by solar energy to help establish a better Wi-Fi connection throughout the school. People in Eastern are definitely not satisfied with the Wi-Fi in our school. Uh, many times it drains the battery, it doesn't connect, so it's quite an issue for the students, especially in the hallways and in lunch where phones are most commonly used. Using the smartphones that students have in their school, as they're trying to connect to the Wi-Fi, the harder it is to connect to it, the more battery it drains. So um, as we install these Wi-Fi repeaters, it will make it um, less uh, work on the phone to try to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi each time. Currently, Eastern has Wi-Fi repeaters in most classrooms, in the forms of these small white boxes, either on the wall or on the ceiling. However, these are widely inefficient. Uh, the connection is weak, uh, and having these boxes on in several different classrooms at the same time makes it difficult for students to connect to the internet. In addition, these boxes are not anywhere in hallways or the cafeteria where students use their phones the most. Um, this is the cafeteria where students spend a lot of time and they need Wi-Fi here, but there is little to no signal here. And students usually come here before school for studying and after school for community events to collaborate with other students on projects and um, even people outside in the community use our the school facility, especially this cafeteria, for events. Making the learning environment better and allowing students and faculty to connect to a faster uh, internet. Eastern would be reducing its, uh, basically its electric bill. Uh, time after time you see students plugging their phones uh, into outlets during school because their battery is running out and a large part of this is because they're connecting to the Wi-Fi. At Eastern there are multiple areas like breezeways that are exposed to sunlight that we could easily install a solar panel and this would help optimize efficiency with the Wi-Fi, especially because of their location near classrooms as well as to the cafeteria. And cafeteria specifically is an area where students use their smartphones more often than the classroom. So the solar panel we'll be using is called the SLP020. It's relatively small, it's about two feet by one foot, uh, and that would be optimal for Eastern because we're not trying to use uh, one of those large solar panels um, usually attached to a roof. We're trying to use a relatively small unit. Uh, it's only about six pounds, but it has 12 watts uh, that it uses, and it has a 20 volt output, uh, which is ideal for a Wi-Fi repeater or Wi-Fi router that we're going to be using. Uh, in addition, it's built to last. Uh, it's very durable, uh, and it can withstand, uh, you know, inclement weather uh, here in New Jersey, which would be uh, obviously um, very well suited to a panel out in a breezeway. Uh, or, you know, near the cafeteria. Well, the total estimated cost is anywhere from $130 to about $150. Around $115 for the uh, solar panel itself, about 70 watt to 80 watt we would need, and about $20 to $30 for the modem that we would use to help connect to the Wi-Fi. And we can just basically attach the solar panel to four AA batteries, the modem, and contain it all within a cigar box, which will allow for a cheaper cost. Instead of getting a pre-built modem solar panel, we can build it ourselves with the, as long as we have purchased a fully functioning solar panel, batteries, and the modem. 